Hello. Hi guys, Merry Christmas. Hi guys, how was your day? Merry Christmas. Aw, hi. What are you guys doing? Are you eating cookies and delicious things? I hope so. Hey, Burn. You got your ball. You're gonna come here and say hi? Oh, there's Bernie. There's Bernie. <laughs> Bernie says, Merry Christmas. <laughs> I just wanna say Merry Christmas to everybody. I hope you guys all had an awesome day got my tree growing out of my head. How do I do this? There we go. That's a little more festive. Hi guys. Pineapple upside down cake. Ooh, nice. What's everybody's uh, holiday dish? Who's good at cooking or baking? Merry Christmas. Aw, you're watching the Hallmark movie. That's awesome. I hope it put you in the holiday spirit. Merry Christmas. Hi guys, it's weird doing one of these with like, like it's so quiet, there's just on by myself. My Christmas was great, thank you. Yes, lots of eating, lots of cookies, lots of laughter, it was awesome. Chocolate pie, someone's eating chocolate pie. Amazing, yes, eating. If we're not eating, what, what, is, what is it really all for, honestly? Watching Hallmark. Aw, nice. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Aw. Hi, guys. Oh, my goodness. There's so many people here already. Holy smokes. You had an ice pie. What is an ice pie? Like a, like um, ice cream cake? That's sort of what I'm imagining can see my tree, you guys wanna see my, this is the ornament that I bought last year, every year. This is my 2020 <sighs> COVID uh, snowman. And 2021 wasn't too much different, unfortunately, but that's okay. You can go back there, there we go. Yeah. How about you guys? You make ice cream jello. What is ice cream jello? Like it's mixed? I'm picturing sort of like a creamy, gelatinous, but in a good way, treat. Hello from Brisbane. Oh my goodness, what? Oh no, it's only evening there. Okay, I'm getting better. Dirt pie, chocolate pudding, real whipped cream, has, must, be, must be real, none of that, none of that canned stuff. And Oreo crumbs, that sounds delicious. That sounds awesome. What's going on? My goodness, look at all these people from all over the place. Pineapple bake, this is great. Did anybody do any traveling to see family for the holidays? Or are you guys uh, more at home? Did anybody get on a plane and go see family for the first time in a long time? hope so. Yule log. Ah, classic. Classic. Hey, Rami. Oh, hello from Sydney, but I'm Italian. Oh, nice. I miss Christmas with my 30 family members. I know there's a, we canceled a lot of our Christmas plans, unfortunately, which is really too bad and very disappointing, but things are not good in Canada right now. So Family of five to DC, essential worker, amazing. Thank you for working on Christmas. I remember when I was a kid, my mom's a nurse and she would work on Christmas and I would be very upset. Christmas with Ronan, first Christmas with Ronan, it was awesome. We got some really cute, look at this cute book, our friends got us. First Christmas for Ronan. It's really amazing, they like put his name, I guess it's like a thing you can buy and you can put their name in it. It's really cute. His name, like, look. Isn't that cute? Yeah, it's really sweet, very special. Kind of like surreal, honestly, to be, to be frank. Very, very surreal. Um, 
but really special and very fun. Yeah. Lots of uh, dressing him in fun outfits and um, what else do we do? I don't know. It just makes it magical again, you know? It's like infuses it with so much magic. Uh, so it's been very awesome. So thank you. What else? What else is going on here? I have no Christmas treats to show you. Oh, Bernie got a puzzle. This is Bernie. Does anybody ever buy their dog one of these? Treat puzzle? Hey, buds. You're looking at me? What are you looking at? Is this your puzzle? You figured it out in like five seconds. I don't think it's going to keep him busy for very long. You like hide treats in these holes and then they're supposed to... I don't know, turning the, anyways, it was too easy for him, but I only got level two because I didn't want it to be too difficult and uh, should, I should have gotten a harder puzzle. Um, so if anyone has any, uh, any, any suggestions for more difficult puzzles, let me know. Um, Bernie, let's see, Bernie, Bernie, come here. Are you, what are you doing? Let's see, right, can you turn this around? Hang on. Oh, Bernard. <laughs> Look at you. You don't even know how loved you are. How's it going? He's so over it. He's like, I'm tired. We did too much today. Hey? Oh, my little guy. Um, funny story about Bernie. I don't know if any of the Bernie fans notice that his hair is all gone. Uh, took him to the groomers. Showed up. And he was shaved. And I was so mad. Um, oh, I was so mad. Um, yes, he is not supposed to be shaved. Any groomer should know that. Oh, you gonna play with your puzzle? Do a burn. Play with the puzzle. There's nothing in it though. There you go. Okay. <laughs> There's nothing there. Yeah, so as you can see, Burn is uh, hairless. Well, not hairless, but pretty darn short. Um, and I went back the next day. My father picked him up. And I came home and I was like, oh my God, who's this dog? Uh, and I asked her why she would shave my double coated Australian Shepherd in the middle of December in Canada. Um, I honestly think she got me mixed up with someone else because she said, well, you told me you wanted it short. So no, I didn't. I never would ask you to do that. can't hear me. Oh, I probably had my hand. Sorry about that. Um, can you hear me now? Your audio is muffled. Oh no. Lost sound. Can't hear you. Jeez. Can you hear me now? You're covering the mic. I'm not. I'm not anymore. I don't know if, if better. Okay. Whoops. Sorry. Um, now it's okay. Okay, great. I was covering the mic. I don't know how much you, you heard of that. Anyways, Bernie's been shaved. Hoping it'll grow back. I read some very scary things online that it will never grow back and that the undercoat will overtake the overcoat. Anyways, I'm very upset. <laughs> Anyways, that's my story. What else is going on? Um, that's about it. Yeah, just laying low for the holidays. Might watch that movie, um, the one that came out on Netflix, Disaster Story. Meryl Streep is the president. Kind of thinking about watching that. Has anyone seen that? I feel like this chat is like a little delayed. Don't worry, Kat, I'm sure he'll be fine. He'll be fine. I just don't know if he will look fine. He kind of looks like a Pomeranian. I think she thought he was a Pomeranian, which I think he very obviously looks like an Australian Shepherd, but... Oh, well, um, don't look up. Don't look up. That's right. Yes. That movie. Thank you. Saw the trailer. No, but it sounds great. Yeah, it does. It does sound great. I am very excited to see it actually. And anything with Meryl Streep is always, always a good time. It's got a good cast. It's like a funny premise. Um, I think it'll be fun. Where's Ronan? Ronan is asleep. Well, I hope so. Ray's putting him to bed. So he should be asleep. We would probably hear him if he wasn't asleep. Um, oh, no, I think, I think he's asleep. It's been a big day for him. He was, uh, he was pretty angry on the way home tonight. 
Um, but I've been uh, taking some tips of how to keep a soother in his mouth. He's sleeping pretty good. He only wakes up like three times a night. That's not bad. He's doing pretty good. Um, but it was, it was kind of a bit of a, a, a too big of a day. He was uh, a bit cranky on the way home, but hey, you party all day, right? Um, which Christmas movies did you watch? I haven't watched anything, but gonna try to watch, uh, Don't Look Up, which, uh, is on, I, th I think Netflix. We'll have to check. Um, Christmas is a lot for babies. I agree. Christmas is a lot for me, but I'm very homebody-ish. So I even find like, you know, when you get like all the text messages and you're like, I had to text all my friends and, and my neighbors and my family. We got to FaceTime with the family. Like it's a busy day. Even if you're not going anywhere, it's a busy day. Um, so yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, I've missed you. Hi. Hi. I've missed you guys too. I wanted to come on here and connect with everybody. Cause I feel like it's been so long, maybe cause we haven't had any in-person conventions either, but, um, but yeah, I, um, I'm very much looking forward to that in the new year. There's a bunch of in-persons coming up, so that's great. I got my booster shot a couple days ago, so I'm all boosted up. I'm ready to get on the plane, um, which is how many months is Ronan is three and a half months. I think actually a little over that. I think he'll be four months in like a week and a half. I should probably know that. I gotta look at a calendar. <laughs> I gotta count. Um, September 8th. I, I, he's, he's almost four months. He's like three months, three months, four, three weeks, maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's like talking now and babbling and, um, smiling. It's very, a very cute age and he loves the bath. It's like his favorite thing. And for Christmas, I'm so excited. We haven't busted it out cause it's just been too busy. I got him a inflatable neck thing it, like it sounds awful but you put like it around the baby's neck and then they can like float around and they like really love it um obviously we're not gonna leave him in it unattended uh don't and nobody come after me <laughs> um uh yeah but i'm really excited because he loves water and he's gonna start swimming lessons uh in january which i'm so like even when i was pregnant i was like i just can't wait to take this baby to swimming lessons so um that's that's very fun too um how's your experience during the episode of questionable taste oh my gosh questionable taste i hope some of you guys have been able to watch it um that's ray's cooking show it's on bell five um which is a channel in canada but hopefully i don't know they're gonna start pitching it to international broadcasters in the new year so hopefully somebody will pick it up internationally but it was really fun it was really weird because ray and i were like kind of trying to pretend that we weren't married but i think it was pretty obvious i don't know <laughs> like he was like asking me questions about my life and career like he didn't know i feel like we should have just said that we were married at the beginning um i don't know anyways but it was super fun and it was very fun to make my mom's recipe and unfortunately because the episodes are so short we had a really fun call with my parents because my mom <laughs> left a step out of the recipe and my dad had was like interrupted my mom. He's like, sorry, sorry, I just I gotta jump on here. I don't think he realized that he was that we were filming. And he was like, Guess what happened today? And I, I for some reason I knew I was playing golf and just the way that he said it, I was like, You got a hole in one. He was like, Yeah, I got a hole in one. Anyways, we didn't have time to I guess they didn't have time in the episode to put that, but I hope that they post it somewhere because it's very cute. He's very proud and has no idea that anybody is listening to him. Um what else? Oh my goodness. Thank you for doing all these cons. Oh, oh, during my pregnancy. I wonder if you guys knew that I was pregnant. I think some people started to catch on a little bit, um, which is kind of fun. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Love you too. Did you all get a special tree ornament for Ron? Oh yeah, we did. We sure did. Um, I actually got this one for him. Oh, because when he was baby, I'm sure if you, anyone who's hung out with babies, they do this like, when they're eating, they do this like, they like open their mouth and they look like little birds. And so I call them little bird when he was like really, really tiny. And then, and then he had like sort of a disgruntled look about him for the first like month and a half. Like he just always looked very unimpressed. 
So my friend Charlotte and I were looking for Halloween decorations and we found this little owl that was like a skeleton owl, like a very angry, scowly little skeleton owl. And then, so for Christmas, I found a cute owl to replace the skeleton owl because he's gotten, now he's a cute little bird. So this is his little bird ornament. And then we've got like such lovely, like we got friends who got him things. We actually got a lot of stuff. This is a little guy my friend wrote on the back, Ronan. And, oh yeah, there's a whole bunch. Oh, my parents made this. I don't know if you can see. See the little foot? So one time when they were babysitting him, they made this, so cute. It's really, really sweet. Ronan's feet at three months. It's so cute. I honestly didn't think having a kid that, it's funny like that many people would, it sounds weird, but like care? I don't know. Like, I, I've been very surprised at the um, amount of people who are, I don't know, like reaching out and so nice about it. I don't know. I, I, I've been taken aback by people's kindness. Um, it's been like beyond, I was, I don't know what I was expecting, but I just wasn't expecting that. Um, so it's, it's, uh, it's, it's really special. And, uh, oh yeah, we have a really fun tradition actually. I don't know if anyone else does this, but every time we like travel or go to an uh, important place, we get an ornament. And then every time you put the tree up, you can like relive your memories, which is kind of nice. Um, so we've got like, this was from like Disneyland. I've got a Nicole Hot one on here somewhere. Oh, here. Do you guys see that? Yeah, somebody gave me that at a convention. Got Nicole Hot. I've got something. Oh, this one is from um, the set of Godwink. Don't tell. Um, no, they, they know that I took it. Um, oh, what else? I've got so many like fun memories and stuff on the tree. So every time, oh, this is from Venice, Italy. That guy sticks out like a lot because it's white. Um, this is from my wedding. Oh my goodness, I've got so many. Oh, there's one from, this is from Brazil. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, here's another little Nicole one. Look, isn't that cute? It's a little sheriff door. So yeah, just some beautiful memories. So we get to kind of really relive every time we put up the tree, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, it's like magnets. You know how people get magnets? It's the same idea. Um, yeah. So, oh, I watched Godwink with my mom. We both cried. Oh, yeah, Godwink is kind of a, um, it was a bit of a twist. Even when I was reading it, I was like, whoa, it's quite, it gets quite dramatic. Um, but I'm really glad you guys liked it. Thanks for watching. I hope it put you in the Christmas spirit. It's a very sweet little movie. Um, what else? I love that we have the same name. Oh, cute. The Nicole ones. Isn't that so, so sweet? Yeah, I've got quite, I've got a few I know no ones. Oh, I also have, um, look, you guys will like this. I'm sure you recognize that little tampon angel. Yeah, so I've got a few I know no ones. <laughs> so fun. So fun. So fun. What else? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. All right, well, I'll let you guys go. Merry Christmas. I just wanted to come on and wish you all a very Merry Christmas or whatever you celebrate, a wonderful day, no matter what you celebrate. And um, just say that I love you and thank you for being such an important part of my life and uh, my 2021. And I'm really looking forward to connecting more with you guys in 22 in the new year and maybe meeting some of you in person and all that stuff. So um, I'm wishing you guys a beautiful, night, day, whatever it is for you, and uh, lots of love, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can connect again soon, and you're all happy and safe and healthy, and your loved ones are the same, and all that good stuff, so happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and uh, lots of love to you guys, thanks for hanging out with me, this was really nice, okay, love you guys, good night! <laughs>